Hello and welcome. This is Natarajan Venkat Raman and I am with Juniper Networks. The topic for today is VGPCT Interop happening as part of EANTEC between 13th and 24th of March 2023. VGPCT is an emerging new technology. It allows for VGP to be able to preserve the service intent end to end. This essentially means that when a service is transiting each administrative domain, it will be allowed to map to the SLA transport tunnel that it intends. The parties who are participating in this demo are Junos and Freeloader. End of last year, in IETF 115 London, there was a similar BGPCT interrupt demo that happened between Junos and Freeloader, wherein Freeloader had resolved its CT traffic to best effort tunnels. However, in this demo in Eantec, free router will be able to resolve its traffic to colored tunnels as well. The nodes that are participating in this demo are PE1, PE2, ASBR1 and ASBR2. The topology is a 2AS topology where there is a linear connection between PE1, ASBR1, ASBR1 to ASBR2 and ASBR2 to PE2. Between PE1 and ASBR1, there are RSVP tunnels in each SLA which are gold, bronze and best of all. Similarly, between ASBR2 and PE2, there are gold, bronze, and best effort SLAs tunnels, but this time, the algorithm used is flex algorithm. The CT advertisements in this topology for gold and bronze are shown in the respective colors, and gold transport class has taken the ID 128, and bronze transport class has taken the ID 129. The relevant advertisements from PE2 to ASBR2 towards ASBR1 and towards PE1 are shown against their respective nodes. At the bottom of the screen, there is also the PE1 INET fit that's being shown, as well as the ASVR1 and ASVR2 MPLS fit. The service traffic has been programmed in such a way to be able to map to gold as well as bronze. There are two prefixes, where prefix 1 maps to gold and prefix 2 maps to bronze, and both planes can be tested simultaneously. The FIB also shows the gold and bronze forwarding that happens at each leg. It is color coded so that it can be mapped to gold, bronze, and best effort respectively. Let us dive into the demo. The highlighted window is PE2, and you can see the transport classes that's been configured here. The endpoint is 104034, and the endpoint is originated in color 128 as well as color 129. ASBR2, as expected, there are two VGPCT routes. The route 1, which is for transport class gold, and the second route is for transport class bronze. Going over to the free router consoles, as you can see, 434 being announced in gold as well as bronze, as well as best of all. The PE1 console, as you can see, that 434 is mapping to gold and bronze. Similarly, you can look at the route view on the opposite direction. The endpoint 104036 is originated in gold as well as bronze. In the free router console, the routes are received via the IBGP CT sessions between P1 and ASBR1. Going further down to ASBR2, we will be able to see that free router has provided the labels 546, 507 and 905134 for this exercise. Going over to P2, the same command can be used to show the prefix. The routes have been relayed on to P2. So there is end-to-end -end advertisements being made here. To examine if these labels are going towards the correct tunnels, it would be good to inspect the tunnels in free router. Yes. You can see that the best effort tunnels are in the verb EMTEC PGP City. Similarly, free router transport class creation has been shown but can be seen in show running config. VRF. So, this is the gold transport class having 128 as its color. Similarly, bronze having 129. Going back to the tunnels. So there is a gold tunnel, which is actually the egress of the gold tunnel in P1. It's a bidirectional tunnel from P1 to ASBR1 and from ASBR1 to P1. ASBR1 tunnel 1, tunnel 2 and tunnel 3 are coming towards P1. And similarly, the best effort bronze and gold tunnels from P1 have an egress in RSVP processing in free router. Now let's go back into the CT labels advertised by free router. 
5465 is the code label that's been advertised and it's going into tunnel 2. Let's check 905134. Takes it to bronze via tunnel 3. As you can see, tunnel 2 and tunnel 3 are gold and bronze respectively and they're exiting in P1. So the forwarding seems to be programmed fine. Let's go to the fun part, which is to be able to ping each of these stars. There are different loopbacks that are being used as service routes and those service routes are mapping to gold and bronze respectively. The ping will be done from P2. So 103036 is the gold service which is the service mapping into the gold tunnels and 105036 is what it's mapping to the bronze tunnel. 102036 is the best of both. So the stats are going to be measured at PE1 where PE1 receives the ping and tries to send the reply back to the service at PE2 via its LSP. So just clearing the stats before we start. Let's quickly ping the best of it. As you can see the best of 300 packets have been received. Let's then ping the gold service. As you can see that the gold service is also showing 300 and finally let's ping the bronze service. As you can see all three tunnels are exercised and each service is able to choose the SLA tunnels that it wants to use end to end. So this allows for end to end ping to be functional and uh, this marks the success of this demo. And uh, I'd like to sign off by saying that we will come up with another demo for IETF 116, uh, which is in Japan as part of the hackathon.